All right, guys, we're going to try a second example of substitution. So very similar type of problem from the last one. We've got two equations, uh, and we have two unknowns, which means we can solve this. Um, so what we're going to be doing is using the method called substitution to solve this system of linear equations. Now, nicely, we have one of them that's already solved for y. So what we're going to do, y just equals 2x plus 11. So what we can do is rewrite our second equation. I'll rewrite it right over here. We can rewrite it, but then instead of writing y, we'll write what y equals. Let me show you. So you have 5x plus 4, and then instead of writing y, we're going to write what y equals. y equals 2x plus 11. So we'll write 2x plus 11, and that's still equal to 5, of course. Okay, so we plugged in what y equals. We plugged it into the equation right here. So again, the benefit of doing that is now we only have x's in our formula, or in our equation. And so what we'll do now is we'll solve this uh, for x. So the first thing I'll do is I'll distribute 5x plus 4 times 2, that's 8x. 4 times 11, that's 44. And that still equals 5. Okay. Um, I'm going to decide to, let's say, subtract 44 from both sides. Okay, so that should be, I believe that's 39, negative 39 on this side. And I just, that cancels this, so I end up with just 5x plus 8x. Okay, that equals negative 39. Let's add those together. 5 plus 8, that's 13, equals, oh, 13x equals negative 39. I divide both sides by 13, and I get, that should be x equals negative 3. Now, just like the last one, people get excited, but we are not done yet. Not done. Okay, remember, we are looking for an answer like this. It's an ordered pair that's x and y. We just have x right now. So what we'll do is we'll take our first equation, it's a little easier to plug into, and we'll rewrite it, but substitute in the value for x. So it's 2x plus 11. So what I'll do is I'll take x equals negative 3 and plug it in. So y equals 2 times x equals negative 3 plus 11. And so what I get here is y equals 2 times negative 3. That's negative 6 plus 11. I get y equals 5. So our final answer will be written as an ordered pair. So I'll put that right here. Our final answer will be negative 3 comma 5, because y was 5. That is the answer that you would type into Alice. There you go. Thanks.